All right, everyone, welcome back to part three of the Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights, a beginner AMT tutorial. If you have not checked out part one, you should go watch part one and part two before you watch this video. Otherwise, you will probably not recognize or understand what I am doing in this run. And this video will cover from which way all the way to Green Ghost. And so without further ado, enjoy the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. So the next level we're going to go into is which way. This is another pretty simple level. What we're just going to do is that we're going to just dash on through here. And then we're actually going to take this right here. And we're going to go get this warp gate. And it's very important that we get this warp gate. Uh, because this warp gate, well, we need to come back here later. Because we need to go into the ship levels later on to collect some tokens. And so this will just allow us to be able to uh, warp here and backtrack faster. And so now that you've activated that token, let's just, not token, but the warp gate, let's just uh, dash through here. And then we're pretty much just going to straight line uh, through this level. Not too much going on until we get to the next level, uh, Lighthouse 1. And I'm just going to, you know, collect some stacks, collect these stack boxes. They're kind of just in our way. And then we're just going to kind of make our way. Uh, and we're just going to dash around this guy. And then we're going to enter Lighthouse 1. So... Lighthouse, how Lighthouse 1 works is that uh, we're going to be doing a lot of the thing that we did in uh, Coast 2 where we uh, run around enemies. So I'm just going to kill this guy and I just want to show that to you before I, I launch the thing upwards. So what we're going to do is that we're going to go into these guys and we're going to dash around these guys the whole time. Obviously we can hit them like this, which is not good. So ideally, you know, we... We want to be dashing around these guys and not bonking into them. And basically, we don't want to be bonking into these guys because this light bulb is, is on a timer, right? So uh, what we're going to do is that we're going to hit this light bulb up, and then we're going to dash over here and collect uh, these three snack boxes, and then we're just going to make our way up uh, here. And again, we're going to try to avoid these guys as best as possible. Um, you should be able to bonk uh, probably... You should be able to bonk these guys a couple times uh, so if you take a couple bonks, you should have enough time to rise to the top um, and basically just make it through the, the whole way. So here, you know, if that's going to what it's going to look like if you're, you know, if you have that down and then you're going to kind of wait here for a second and then you're going to dash open, uh, break open this thing and then you're going to collect the super smash. And now we can super smash. Um, uh, there is a thing that you can do uh, where you can collect uh, these two snack boxes along the side. You can actually break open both of these boxes as well before you go up and you can get 10 extra snacks. Uh, we're not going to do that because we're not really concerned about snacks and I just want to make sure that you're getting the cycle and getting the helmet. But that is what you would do, uh, you know, just to optimize a little bit more. And then basically we're going to drop down from the top and we're going to uh, super smash this open and we're going to fall in here. Now in Lighthouse 2, we're going to do a little bit of a, a tricky, tricky movement here. We're going to jump on this wall. Oop. As you can see, pretty tricky. We're going to jump on this wall. I like to single jump and then run off and then jump up this wall. And we're going to get up here. And this allows us to get to the warp gate. So uh, I don't like double jumping here because double jumping kind of just like makes you go down a bit too fast for my liking. Uh, on that first ledge, but obviously you can do it. I just showed it there, but you know, I like I like to just kind of just jump on, on this little ledge here And then do kind of like a very extended jump out here and up that wall And then we're gonna get to this warp gate and then now we're just gonna this is the easiest minute You're gonna do you're gonna go left and up Very simple, right? And then we're gonna go into shock one or shock two and then uh, from Shock 2, we're just going to kind of uh, go up here, and we're going to open up this, and we're going to go into Creepy 1. Now, an important creepy thing in Creepy 1 is that when you spawn in, you want to hold neutral and just fall down. Uh, this is because uh, if you hold left or up as you go into Creepy 1, let me just say it stayed a bit closer. If you hold any direction, you'll get hit by a bat. So what we want to do is we want to hold neutral as we fall. And then once we hit here, we want to jump up, ground pound this guy. Just go ahead and kill this fish so he's not in your way. And then um, just ground pound these buttons. And then just uh, dash on through here. Just try not to get hit by these boulders as you're going through. Again, snacks or whatever snacks you want to collect, you can collect. <coughs> and we're going to make our way to Creepy 2. Creepy 2, uh, we're going to jump and get these keys. Uh, so what we could do is that... Uh, 
Uh, basically, you can single jump and get these keys. Let me just kill this guy, actually. You can single jump and get these keys. Uh, in general, uh, it's easier to uh, double jump and get these keys without getting hit. So you can double jump or single jump, whichever one you want to do. Uh, you know, you could get hit. That's okay. Um, and then you're just going to want to go past this guy. And then we're going to uh, get this key. So we're going to skip Shaggy again. And we're going to uh, collect this key up here. And what, how we're going to do that is that I like to kind of go a bit f uh, further back, like around here, and then turn around and then hit this. Because if you're like right next to this, it's a bit harder to hit this ledge, to be honest. So I like to kind of go around here, hold down back, and then jump on this ledge. And so, you know, you run up here, you know, you turn, you go down right, and then you jump up and get the key. Uh, this can be a bit uh, tricky. And if you're not getting it down right, you know, if you're, you're falling, um, I also recommend holding in between the down notch and the down right notch. Um, so kind of like at this angle. And that can sometimes uh, get you the, the back that you need to, to get into the key. And basically this key opens up... Uh, both doors here we're actually going to go through here later to get to lab but right now we need to go get the plungers so we're, we're going to make our way to creepy three and go get the plungers um uh, up and up here i'm going to show you a cycle that you can try to make um where you cannot get hit by uh these axes you could take the slower obviously um just you know try not to get hit try not to die and then we're going to make our way to the plungers now similar with the helmet uh if we just walk into the plungers He's gonna he's gonna pose up. He's gonna look at his new kicks, right? Uh, we don't want him looking at his new kicks. So what we're going to do is that we're just gonna run into this spam A, and uh, as we collect it, we're gonna spam A and just make sure that he jumps. And jumping will cancel the animation. And again, we can make our way to this warp gate and warp away. And again, if I stop moving, I'll I'll post up again. So uh, like we'll just walk into it, jump up, turn around, dash, get to this warp gate, and now we're here. Creepy hall crawlways in the hallways. And now we're going to uh, go back to Mr. Machine. So the way that I like to go uh, to uh, Mr. Machine is that I like to go up right up and go into the fishing village. This will put you on shock two. And then you're gonna go left twice and then go to Mr. Machine. And then now we're actually gonna be collecting tokens. Wow, we've only collected three tokens so far, but now we're gonna start collecting a lot more tokens. So we're gonna go back into hedge one and uh, we're basically gonna collect all the tokens now. So in hedge one, this is a pretty simple token. Uh, what we're going to do is that we're just going to use our newly acquired helmet upgrade and we're going to pound open this gate and we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get on get boy. Uh, not much to explain here. We just open the gate with the helmet, get the token. Uh, if you need an ex explanation for that, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> just be dashed to the center of the gate. You'll be fine. And then we're just going to kind of make our way through, and we're basically just going to backtrack back to uh, Misbehaven um, eventually. Uh, and we're actually going to do SES again, Skull Cliff Skip again, uh, where we're going to go into Misbehaven to get to uh, Green Ghost earlier. And we're not going to go through the Skull Cliff levels, obviously, and we're just going to get right there. Um, oops, I... That was something known as the Yeet Cycle. Don't go for it. Just ride the platform up. I, that's just muscle memory from uh, the, the advanced route that I run. Um, and then we're just going to kind of just make our way uh, through Hedge 2 into Hedge 3. And then we're going to collect another token. Just kind of move on through. And then, all right. In this level, it's very important. We're going to do uh, somewhat of a, of a setup here. And uh, how I like to go through this token is that uh, it's actually a pretty easy cycle to make. What you do is you just run through the whole level. You do not B dash once and just go across. And then we're going to ground pound a enemy to get over some tar. And so uh, I'm going to save uh, here. And so again, we're just going to hold right. I like to jump over this thing, uh, double jump here, and then just run and then collect the snack arc and double jump over that guy and just run and then if you move like this, you will make a cycle with this uh, guy where you can just jump across, ground pound his head, and then get here. Um, I recommend ground pounding onto this ledge because it's a bit small. And basically, if you miss this ledge, uh, you die. Or uh, you, and basically, like, if you miss this ledge, uh, you, you either die 
because uh, this uh, can kill you. I thought I could. Huh. This just does damage to you. I thought that killed you. Huh. Well, I just learned something. Uh, you can overshoot it and get hit, but ideally you just want to ground pound here. The reason I say that you can die is because here, you die. Um, so I don't know why you don't die here. I don't know why we're taking damage here, but that's weird. Uh, either way, what you're going to want to do is just uh, do that. Um, so let's just uh, show the cycle again. Um, so let's just, uh, you know, we just run, jump over this, jump over that, and then we're going to run through and just double jump over this werewolf. And then we're going to single jump across all of these. And then we're going to uh, jump out onto the tar. Jump a bit early there because you can get caught by the tar. And then just ground pound here and then make our way over. Um, and basically, if you fail that and you you go into the uh, the the pit, unfortunate. You know, you're gonna have to try it again. But again, we're just gonna collect that token and we're just gonna we're gonna keep it pushing. And then. Uh, now, uh, an important thing to note here is that sometimes this door will not be open. Sometimes you can uh, clip through, but not clip all the way. So you might have to do SCS again, but again, if you're just holding up left on the controller, you should go all the way through. Um, and so you just might have to do SCS again here. So in the next level, we're going to collect another token. And how we're going to do this token is that uh, when we spawn in, uh, we're just going to wait for two seconds, and then we're going to uh, dash. So because uh, you most likely you have a timer, just wait, and then you're here, you wait two seconds, one, two, and then just uh, dash on up here, and then this guy will be in position where you can ground pound him, and then jump to the top here. There is another setup that you can do where you can just kind of like yellow it and just kind of like do some jumps here and just like stagger yourself and then, you know, make your way over um, and hit this and still hit the trick. Um, Personally, I like to just guarantee it and just, you know, you just load in, you use your timer, wait two seconds, one, two, and then just wait, and then just wait two seconds and then dash because he will always be in this position. And then you can get up and get this token up here. Um, and then you're just going to fall straight down onto this key. And then now we're just going to collect the four keys in this room and then we're going to jump up the hill and we're going to make uh, our way to Green Ghost. Uh, you can collect some of these snacks here if you want. Uh, you don't need to be concerned about hitting all of them. You know, you can just jump into some of them. And then just go in, hit this key. And then we're just going to go up here and jump and get this key. And then the door will activate and open. And now we will make our way to Misbehaven 2. And uh, Misbehaven 2, we're pretty much just going to walk straight through the level again. So, uh, uh, we're just going to kind of jump up here. And we're just going to kind of just dash past uh, all of this here um and then just kind of just dash down here and then you can kind of just walk across jump across this gap and then make your way into misbehaven three now misbehaven three is what we call an auto scroller this is the only auto scroller that we have to do in, in the run if we want to get to a uh, green ghost we have to do this auto scroller unfortunately there's just no way around it um, so what we're going to do is that we're just going to basically just dash across here and we're going to activate this button and then we're going to participate in the auto scroller. So, uh, I'm going to leave a timestamp here if you just want to skip uh, ahead past this auto scroller because it's literally the same thing that you do casually. All I would say is just collect every single snack besides the last arc by the boats. Uh, uh just collect every single snack in this room, uh, besides the, the last ones where you jump across if you know and if you don't know then uh, uh we're you know you, you can watch me do this but uh and basically uh a thing that i will just say is do not fuck around on this level don't mess around don't like do some like weird like ground pounding things where you're just like you know messing around like because the thing is if you die in this level you have to restart the whole level again and so you're losing like two minutes automatically if you die in misbehavior and you have to do it all over again right so just number one thing do not die in this level um and, and yeah uh, this boat is called twitter boat because you know you can like you know go get on your phone go on twitter or whatever my phone's my camera right now but um yeah just just be responsible don't die in this level because if you die it's an automatic reset um 
and then yeah. I like to wait until my uh, head hits that second snack there before I jump up. And then I like to kill this guy um, normally because it just allows you to set up this a bit better. But just, you know, just wait until like these boats are a bit higher up. And then you can just jump across. Uh, you can go too soon there and you can die. But just play it safe and you should be fine. So, in uh, this next level, uh, we're going to do something known as Beat My Keys. Uh, so, th uh, this trick is just named Beat My Keys. Uh, we won't go into it. It, it just is for, for, for after another runner who discovered it. And so, we're just going to dash through, hit this key. And then here, we're going to go direct up into the shovel. As soon as we hit the key, we're going to activate the RB dash. And then dash and get uh, this key as well. So, again, so you know, wait for here. Uh, I like... Just single jump and dash. Boom, get that key. And then we're going to hold direct up here until the key hits us. And then we're going to activate our B button dash and then go through here. Important thing to note, these guys can just be over you and kill you. As you can see, I, I had to avoid them twice there. Um, and so sometimes you'll just get unlucky ghost RNG and you're just going to get hit into the pit. And that's, you know... That's just unfortunate. There's not much you can do about it, but yeah, that's be my keys. I don't think it needs more explanation than that. Um, and then here we're gonna hold down right and die uh, to skip a cutscene. So just make sure you skip that cutscene, and then afterwards, um, we're not gonna do that. Afterwards, what you're going to do is that uh, you're just going to activate these urns, and we're going to run up here. There is an advanced strat where you can actually do this uh, room uh, without going in order up here, which was very recently discovered but it is way too hard for a beginner out, so I'm not going to include it here. I like to super smash onto that token, uh, just to make sure that I'm not gonna fall down. Um, and then we're basically just gonna ride along this wall, and you know. Um, you can jump across here with a super smash and get all the way here, but again, we're just gonna, we're just gonna play it safe. You're gonna jump on that urn five times, and then stop. Take your hands off the controller right now. So after you hit all four urns down, do not touch the R button. Just walk into here. And if you do touch the R button, what you want to do is that um, you want to uh, go to the store and jump. Uh, this will uh, basically this will cancel your skidding animation. And why is that important? You may ask. Well, let me show you. If I skid. And enter the store, and I try to do this cutscene skip. Uh, I'll explain it in a second. I won't skid off enough and die. This is because you need to preserve your skid frames in this room. So, if you uh, just walk over here, or you run over here, and you just jump, and then enter the door, if you hold in between the down left notch and the left notch, and hold R, you will skid off. So again, that's uh, that's the in between the down left and the left notch. So down left, left notch, in between them is where you want to hold uh, for this cutscene trick. So we're just gonna kind of go over here and then hold in between down left and the left notch and then we will skid off. And then now we will make our way through. If you skid in, in that level after that final cutscene plays, you will just not have enough skid frames to, to do that cutscene skip. Um, but that's the only time you need to worry about your skidding. And then we're just gonna make our way into Crypt, just walk around those guys. And we're just gonna dash through here. We're gonna go left side here, and then we're gonna go over here to this little this little V here. And then uh, past this guy is another token. Uh, you can actually go around this guy by just uh, doing the similar movement by just aiming your head away from him. But you just break open that with your your helmet, collect this token, and then you can uh, walk back out. And then we're gonna go here. Now it is important that you stop here um, because if you keep going forward you will pay a 600 gate. If you pay the 600 gate, your run is dead. You have to reset. So just be very careful. And just when you're rounding this corner and coming back here, you just stop on this warp gate and you activate it. And so what we're going to do is that we're going to do what what's right there is the 600 gate. We're going to do 600 gate skip. And now this is going to be one of the hardest tricks you're going to do to skip uh, this 100 gate, the 600 snack gate. What you're going to do is that you're going to activate this warp gate you're gonna go up and to the left, and then you're gonna warp to this warp gate.
if you noticed, we didn't have this warp gate activated. So this is what a, a, a warp gate that's activated looks like. You have this colored X on it, right? And these grayed ones out, uh, you know, are not things that we can TPT. So if I go to this one, it says warp gate not activated also. That's funny. Uh, but uh, this warp gate is actually linked to this warp gate because they copy and pasted the code. So we can actually just skip the 600 gate and we can warp directly to, uh, to this gate. And this is good for us because guess what? This is right next to the Green Ghost boss fight. Wow. But uh, we're actually not going to go fight Green Ghost quite yet. We're going to do that in a second. But what we're going to do is after we warp here, we're actually going to uh, B dash down here. And we're going to go to the fourth door here. So there's some enemies that are spawning out here. Uh, we're going to go to uh, the fourth door here. And then right here, we're going to get hit by this guy. And we're going to aim very hard left and then roll forward and try to get past him without killing him and collecting this token. This is because we're going to death abuse off of this guy back to the beginning of the level. If you accidentally kill this guy, no biggie. You can just run all the way back. But we're just going to death abuse on this guy. And then we're going to go uh, fight Green Ghost. So, uh, Green Ghost, this is your only real point of RNG in the whole run, uh, which is very nice. Everything else is very movement-based. Uh, fun music glitch here, and we're just going to kind of walk through. We're going to get this key, jump up top here, and then we're just going to dash through here. Wait for that ghost to get out of our way, and then we're going to jump through, and then we're going to collect both keys, and then we're going to uh, fight Green Ghost. Uh, there's not much to explain here, uh, but uh, basically you need three hits on Green Ghost. He goes to these things and basically Daphne opens a coffin and then you ground pound the coffin and then it activates a little tornado and you want to suck up Green Ghost. You need three hits, so um, I'm probably just going to speed this section up. Not much to talk about, just, you know, just try not to die and yeah. Uh, after you get this third hit on Green Ghost, uh, what you're going to want to do, uh, it doesn't matter where he is, what you want to do is as soon as you uh, get as soon as soon you, you get the third hit, what you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to B-dash here and then just jump twice and ground pound up here uh, before the cutscene plays just to get nearer to the door. And then as soon as the cutscene plays, you're going to want to uh, leave. Um, and you can actually leave before that text prompt comes up. And so just what that looks like uh, and and full as I dash it here I jump up this thing and then I'm right next to the door uh, wait for this cutscene to play because if you don't wait for this cutscene to play you don't get the umbrella so if you leave this room uh, before you watch the cutscene you will not get the umbrella and you will have to reset because you need the umbrella to do the like some other tricks in this run so just make sure you watch the cutscene and then after you watch the cutscene you can press X and leave all right, and that is the end of part three of this beginner All Monster Tokens tutorial. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.